Hi, this is Don Campbell, and thank you for watching this Expand to Web screencast. Today I'd like to take you on a quick tour of the Expand to Web Small Biz WordPress theme. This is the theme that we developed based on working with a lot of different small business owners, and it's intended to be a quick way to get a website up and running for a small business that's optimized for local search results. This theme is based on WordPress, so underneath the covers you have a powerful content management engine and a really really easy way to publish new content to your site. <laughs> so if you want to get this theme it's uh, available at expand to web here's the URL you can go check it out but let's jump into it and see what it looks like. So this is a demo website based on the theme and here you're gonna see that I've got a um, you know place for my business name, street address, all the things that, that you should have on every page of a of a website um, and it comes out of the box with a few pages um, some content on the home page that you can change an about page uh, a contact form um, a Google map for your business and a blog page if you want to publish articles and content additionally at the bottom of the page you see that there are some um, some areas where you can feature different parts of your site these are called feature boxes and they're all customizable in the options panel so why don't I go there now and show you how the options panel works. If I log into WordPress, um, once my theme is installed, you're going to see that there's a, a new section under appearance called Small Biz Options. Now this is enabled because um, the Small Biz theme is installed. So here you can see that the current theme is the Small Biz theme in WordPress. And if I go to the options for it, you're going to see a, a panel where you can specify all kinds of information about your site uh, without having to do any, any coding. So, for example, here I can put my business name. I can choose a different um, color for you know color theme for the site. I can put um, a subheader that would include some keywords like your city name and location name, your street address, um, your phone number, the email address, and here's a space where you can go and just type in your address on Google Maps and it'll give you back this code um, where you can actually insert a dynamic map onto your site. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, actually that's what you find on the on the Find Us page here where people can actually go here and say um, you know get directions and interactively explore your your website. So the the actual Google Map for this is is here and allows you to get your content um, by clicking on link uh, customize and preview and you're gonna see here that there's this um, code you can grab and just put right in your website so it's pretty easy to do this um, to include a dynamic map on your site <clears throat> okay so here you can also specify your business hours you can even change the the header image or the main Im page image I can also um, change the, the text that's on the home page and here's where I can change the feature boxes. So I can change, you know, what what my um, the, these feature boxes on the front of the website point to. So that's the feature boxes are these guys down here, um, and I can change um, which parts of my site I want to feature. I can also change the content in the sidebar. These are called WordPress widgets, and you can put anything that you like here. So I'll give you a, a couple of examples of how to change these things. Uh, last thing, two things I want to mention is if I wanted to omit uh, a certain page from the navigation menu, for example, if I don't want the blog page to show up anymore, I can easily change that here. Uh, I'll show you how that works in a second. And then if, um, you know, you should always be tracking your website visitors with Google Analytics or some analytics tool, and this gives you an easy place to put that code snippet that you get from Google so you can track your website visit visits. So if I save that and go back and refresh this page, you'll see that the blog um, navigation is no longer there. So as you publish new content to your site, um, if you don't want the, net, um, the pages to show up in the navigation, it's really easy to change that. So let's go in here and just quickly update um, and put a different header image on, on the site. So one of the things I can do here is go and um, Let me just find the a new header image for this. Okay, let me find something that's kind of interesting. <clears throat> so as long as I make the the image to be 
900 pixels wide by 150. I can just specify a new image for the page and save it. And when I come back, you're going to see that um, I've got a totally new header image. So anyway, the idea, we're trying to make it really easy for you to be able to modify your site, modify the navigation menu, modify the colors and the graphics um, on the site. So anyway, that's my uh, my quick tour. Uh, there is a full live demo from the site. If you click over here on on this box uh, on this image, you'll see that um, you can explore a uh, current version of the site and and get a feel for how it works yourself. And I've got a bunch of tutorials on how to get this installed and set up on Expand to Web. So thanks for tuning in, and I appreciate uh, you watching my screencast. Thanks. Bye.